It's Juanita with the Real Estate Technology Institute, and today I'm going to show you how to change the background of a photo, like this one, using Paint.net. So if you want to create a Facebook page for certain photos, you want to associate with your pictures, I'll let you decide exactly how you're going to do this, but it starts with taking a picture in front of a green screen. So let's see how the software works. Okay, we'll start by opening Paint.net. Make sure layers is showing. You'll need that. I'll minimize until I get all the pictures that I need on my canvas. I'll need two images. One with me in front of a green screen and two, the picture that I want to replace with the green screen. So let's minimize. And I'll drag this picture right there to the canvas. Click add layer. Now the picture that I want, I'm going to find one that's not going to be the same size. So I can show you how to manipulate that. Okay, say add layer. Excellent. So now I'll go full screen. All right, so the first thing, make sure you are selecting the tool that is the move selected pixels. All right, that allows me to move this image and I'm going to move it down until it completely covers the green screen. Perfect. Now what I want to do is I want to move the green screen layer to the top. So I'll click on it here and then it gives me the option of moving it up a layer. Awesome. Now what I want to do is I want to move it just a little bit over until I get it centered because that will give me a nice picture that I'm looking for. These edges will not be part of the picture, but that's okay. All right, now let's get a little chroma key going. Hit effects, photo, chroma key. And the green disappears. Now at this point, I can play around with the lower or upper bound. I'll let you try that. Just know that if you ever mess it up in any way or shape or form, let's say I go too far to the left with the lower bound, if you ever want to get back to where you were, just hit the default. But certainly manipulate these until you have a perfect picture. And then when you do, say OK. And now do a Save As. Save As Type. PNG or JPEG. I'll go with PNG. I'll get a file name. One word of caution. The preview is not the actual picture, as you can see. Say OK. Flatten the image. And there we have it on the desktop. There we go. You've just removed the background of a photo. Following this particular demonstration, I do have a tutorial on how to download the Paint.net software in case you're not so good with working with zip files. I will add there's a chroma key plugin that needs to be downloaded in addition to Paint.net, so you may want to take a look. Thanks for watching. The first step you'll need to do is go to paint.net, download on Google, and it will bring up all the options. I want you to download from the official paint.net website. There it is. I think I'll go ahead and right click, extract all. All right, awesome. Okay, now I'm going to say next, read the terms, agree, say next, and I'll be back. Click finish, and we're off to the races. Okay, that opens paint.net. Let's move that over. But we need one more thing. Head back to Google and type in paint.net 
chroma key download. We actually need to download this and add it to the software we've already downloaded. And let's see which one I want you to get. Go to this one, Softpedia. That brings you here to Softpedia and you want to click on download now. Okay, and then you have a zip file. You can unzip it like you did before. Extract. Okay, so this plugin that you just downloaded, I want you to add it to the program files within paint.net. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, underneath your main hard drive, you'll see program files. That's where paint.net is hiding by default. Now, paint.net has several folders, so click on that, and now you'll see effects. That's where you're going to put this plugin. Slide that over, and I'm going to just move it. Perfect. So now it's in the effects folder.